And now we're going to fly on Ali's magic carpet to Gaza in Palestine and welcome back Noor, who we haven't seen for a couple of weeks. So Noor, lovely to see you. How are you? Fine, thanks. Lovely to see you too. And Noor, would you like to tell us a story today? Sure. Over to you, Noor. Okay. The name of the story is A City Under Attack. Once upon a time, the citizens of a walled city were under attack. The enemy had it closed in and surrounded the whole city. So the, cities, the citizens could not escape and neither could food nor supplies get in. The people were close to starvation. The people were close to starvation. They were at their wit's end. Should they surrender or keep what little pride they had left to die of hunger? The weary ruler decided it would be best just to wave the white flag and hope that the enemy would take would take some pity on them. As just as they were to lower the drawbridge of the city, an old woman pushed through the crowd and urged them to stop. She knew how to save the city. All it required was a cow. A cow, the people said, all our cows have eaten or died of hunger. And you want a cow? The people snorted. Uh, the old woman said, I'm sure there must be a cow hidden somewhere. People can be so secretive during the hard times. Find me a cow and I will save the city. The doubtful people set about searching. And finally, the inner basement of one of the houses, a soft mowing could be heard. The cow was hidden in a basement of a selfish family who had keeping the milk, the milk for themselves. Now, the old woman with the cow, then the one is she want two packets of bread. Your crazy old man and angry man said, we don't have enough grain to fill these two packets. The old woman said calmly, if everyone contributes what they had, we will soon fill these two packets. The people were torn. This old woman looked so sure of herself. But the people didn't want to give up their last food. So the old woman said to them, this is a sacrifice we should all do to save our country. She said calmly as she emptied the last of her own grain into the first packet. Eventually, each family put a handful or two of their own grain into the packets. And finally, the packets were full. Then the old woman took the packets of her grain to the cow and she tipped it into the, onto the ground. And the hungry cow started munching and crunching all the grain. Now, the people are furious. We are starving ourselves and you want to feed the cow two packets of the grain? What? They were attacked. They have to work. They, ha they would have to attack the woman if the city's ruler had been stepped in and did not take the, the old woman. The ruler said, We have 
nothing by we have nothing to lose by following this old woman if you remember correctly this morning we were about to surrender this could be our last chance to survival let's give her a new chance then he ordered the whole city the whole people to go to their homes at the night once the cow once the cow when the cat once the cow had polished off all the grain the old woman asked the soldiers to open the gates and she pushed out the cow out of the city and the cow immediately was immediately spotted by an enemy soldier the soldier took the cow to the general the general said said to himself i thought we i thought we had starved the city and they have a cow but the soldiers he laughed and he said <laughs> They think that one miserable cow can buy our mercy. <laughs> However, it will make a distant dinner. That evening, they that that evening, that evening, they had a tasty dinner of the cow. But later that night. A trembling kitchen hand was brought before the general. Sir, when I was when I when I was getting the cow, I found undigested grain in its stomach. The general, the general went pale. He thought to himself. I thought we had starved the whole city and they had enough food to feed their all their their whole their all cows two packets of grain what what does this do so before dawn the next morning the enemy soldier had broken their camps. They treat they treat, treated pack to their own land. The cow, the grain, and the old woman had saved the city. The end. Wow, no, that story was worth waiting for. That's mm, a complex right. story and so clever. That old woman. Yes. Outside of the box. A cow seeing the city. Yeah. Thank you. Noor, thank you so much for coming to us from Gaza and sharing You're, your story. You're Fantastic. welcome. Thank you too. Fantastic. Thank you for listening to me. And well, I hope you love my story too. We did. We did. We loved your story. We loved thank it. You. <laughs> Absolutely marvellous. Hi, yeah, my internet's unstable, so if I freeze, um, just to say that was amazing. I just, it's the, the energy and confidence that comes across from the tellers. I just love it. So thank you, thank you. Thank you, Heather. And Sue, Sue down in South Africa. David, I just want to say to everyone, you are so talented. I want to steal all of you and let you come and tell stories to my students so that they can see how it should be done. Thank you so much for a wonderful evening again. Thank you. Yes, you young people, you are our teachers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Babasi. You know, in listening to the stories today, I just had a flashback uh, from a few years ago. I was working at a school and they were doing an international, it wasn't Zoom, it was pre-Zoom, but we did an international hookup with a school in an African country. And they told us stories and we told them stories. 
And wow, today I am feeling like I'm in that room again doing the same thing. Each of the princesses has grown and continues to grow. I am amazed with the facial expressions. I'm amazed with the tones of voices. I'm amazed at some who use different voices. And your energy, it's, it's just, Tuesday is the highlight of my week now. It even beats payday. <sighs> but I just want to say, don't stop. If you make a mistake, keep on going. Your stories are wonderful, enchanting, enthralling, and you grow and grow and grow and grow. Please don't stop. You're inspiring those of us who may be a tad bit older <clears throat> than you. Um, yeah, Thank I, you. I, 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 when I grow up, I want to be like them. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just going to read out two messages from people that had to leave before the end. Mike Fackerty said, great stories, beautifully told. And Phil said, wonderful telling tonight. You all cheered me up in my sick bed today, but now I feel so much better. Thank you all. So look, you've even healed Phil. So that's fantastic. So on that note, good night.